Okay, so we haven't really gone through the, the kind of repeated concept too much. So let me just show a quick example of it. So we're all on the same page, okay? Um, so you, you have access to this program as well. This is not the same, uh, the exact same program um, as we were just discussing, but it's very similar, okay? So it's an antenatal care program, okay? Um, I'll just register somebody. Um, say they're LMP. Okay, so this program has two stages, okay? One is the registration stage where um, some initial information is taken, okay? Their blood pressure, their weight, okay? And then this, there's this ANC visit, right? So in the program we were looking at, they had this routine ANC visits and this was a repeated stage. What we mean there, okay, when you're doing this repeated stage and just so you can kind of see how it looks, right? What we're doing is we're taking the same data every time they come for an ANC visit, okay? Um, so I'm applying it to an ANC program, but there are other examples, okay, that you could use this repeated stage design. And you don't have to take the same data all the time, but it has to be of the same structure because you can hide and show elements based on, you know, which visit it is, for example, or what, what service they're receiving, right? There are just kind of, uh, it's just kind of different way to do this, but it can help with the structure and design um, of your program. So in this case, in this scenario that I'm showing you, and in the scenario we went over earlier, the exact same data is being captured each time they come for an ANC visit, all right? So there's no need to create eight or 10 ANC visit stages, right? You just allow someone to perform this operation as many times as they need, okay? So for example, this is um, their first visit would be the registration. So let's say it's their second visit here, right? You take the mother's weight and you take their blood pressure and identify if they were given some, some IPT like this, okay? So let's say they come in again, right? And I'll just complete this. Let me say the, the date is earlier, okay? So just complete this, right? And I can schedule another visit, okay? It's the same program stage, okay? And let's say just for posterity's sake, okay, they came back. This is not a realistic timeline, I realize. This is just for demonstration purposes. Thank you. Okay. So when I create this, you can see here, this is a repeated stage. The same exact data is being shown, right? And I didn't have to, when I do this, when I create this in my configuration, oh, okay. okay, I don't have to create this again. I just say, okay, this stage is, is repeatable. It's, it's a tick box and we'll see that today um, when we're going through the configuration, okay? But all the same data, the visit number, the weight, the blood pressure, the IPT dose, it's all the same information, okay? Now, now, as I said, there are other configurations where you can use this and it's not necessarily all the same data, like immunization is one example of this. Um, but uh, we, we will go over some of these more examples, you know, as we get through it, okay? But in this particular example, right, you're just collecting the same data and it's repeating. And every time they come for a visit, right, if that's part of your procedure where they're supposed to collect the same data each time, you don't need to create all these separate stages. You just repeat it. And then you can see here, right? We talked about this concept of events. So let's say they're on their third visit now. Okay, and their weight's gone up a bit because of the pregnancy. Okay, their blood pressure stabilized a little. Um, okay, and you can see here now there's more than one event tied to that program stage, right? And I can just keep adding, right? As the mother comes back, right? For her ANC visits. I can just keep adding and adding on, right, until she is finished, okay? So hopefully this clarifies this a little bit for everybody, all right?